and welcome to another fascinating episode of Furries in the Media. I'm your host, Abergwine, and today we'll look at Dr. Phil. And when we say furry, we're talking about people that are into um, these kind of anthropomorphic sort of images. Well, if you think about it, we have all encountered furries. Uh, we call them mascots. Uh, you see them at basketball games and football games, big heads in costumes. Uh, furries and mascots aren't quite the same thing, but I'd say it's a fair comparison. This may not be the most accurate definition of what a furry is, but I think it's acceptable for the average Joe. My daughter Shauna is a furry. To me, she's a giant stuffed animal. Oh my god. I don't understand it. Every time I try to talk to my mom about what a furry is, she just doesn't want to hear about it. I'll tell her what it is, but it goes like right over her head. It makes me very uncomfortable that she enjoys putting this costume on. It's a little freaky. So what do you get out of this? I get fun. I get friends. You can't do this without putting a big giant head on. Aren't you concerned about any of these people that you don't see them under their big heads? That they might be with someone like really creepy and scary? When is this going to end? I mean, when are you going to like pick up with your life and, and do something productive other than put a, a, a big stuffed head on top of your beautiful face? You know, I've mentioned to Shauna, there is no professional furry. Where do you go from here? I don't think the mother's concerns are completely unfounded, but I disagree with her. She seems to think that being a furry is a waste of time that will only detract from her daughter's life. Quite to the contrary, being a furry, or really having any hobby, can serve as enrichment to complement a healthy lifestyle. When Shauna attended a recent furry convention, she let our cameras follow her and meet some of her furry friends, both masked and unmasked. Take a look. My character is Ray Fox. I'm from Canada, so this is about my 10th convention. This has been a very positive experience for me. My name's uh, Chris, I'm a neuroscientist. My persona is Felicienne, the Fennec Fox, as you can see. I'd say I've been to about a half a dozen conventions. Oh wow, they brought their cameras to a convention and they showed it in a positive light. Good job! Her mother, Lori, says furries are freaks. I disagree with that. I don't think they're freaks. It can look odd. I get that. It's a diverse group of people. Some do it just as a goof. Some have fun with it. If it doesn't hurt anybody and put her in danger, uh, then I guess I wouldn't really personally have an issue with it and certainly professionally wouldn't have an issue with it. My question is, you've dropped out of high school? Yes. Look, here's my point about this. Your job right now is to prepare yourself to self-sustain in life, to be able to make a living and pay your bills and your rent. I don't care uh, whether you're being a furry or playing video games or you go goth or whatever. You've got to learn math, get an education. I don't care if you do it with a tail on or not. I could care less about that, but you've got to prepare yourself for life. I noticed that Dr. Phil saw no issue with being a furry as a hobby, not even in his professional point of view, but he does have a problem with the seemingly lackadaisical approach the daughter has to life, which I think is a fair assessment. And it's time to look at the review stats. Accuracy is 100%, and the spirit is 67%, giving us an average of 84%. And now time for my thoughts. During my research for this episode of Furries in the Media, I saw a lot of posts on the internet where furries were concerned that the Dr. Phil show is going to put the furry community in a negative light. Thankfully, this doesn't seem to be the case, and a lot of furries were even pleasantly surprised by the outcome. The show seems to focus on the mother's concerns while downplaying the daughter's explanations for why being a furry is so important to her. I fear that this may lead some people to think that furries are not meant to be taken seriously. I do agree with the show's overall message. If a young person wants to pursue their passions in life, there's nothing wrong with that. However, they need some way to sustain themselves, and the easiest way to do that in our society is by completing an education and getting a job. Well, that's it for today's episode. Have fun, stay awesome. Bye-bye!